Hey everyone, Mucklick here, and this is a short guide to the basics of the Super Adventure Box to get you started and point you in the right direction if you get stuck. Enter the Super Adventure Box, henceforth called SAB, in Radasum at the North End. There are a couple of merchants outside the box that are there year-round. They are also inside with some additional ones. Note that when entering the box, you will lose all buffs you have, including boosters. Inside the box, there are three merchants immediately on the left. The first one has weekly items for sale. All items can be bought three times per week except the exchange voucher, which is once a week. The second merchant sells miniatures, the Bobble Home Instance Node, which lets you get some baubles every day year-round, and some other miscellaneous items. The third merchant sells weapons and weapon skins. You can throw a bobble into the fountain to launch fireworks. This is purely cosmetic, I don't know of it having any special effects. On the opposite side from from the entrance is a racing Choya, and a few feet away is a super race announcer... Hedgehog? I think that's a hedgehog. The Choya triggers a race to collect coins. The hedgehog triggers a race to run around, look for the clouds indicating where to go. These both use the same route, and you can use one to practice the other. To start your first SAB run, enter the building that looks like a tree stump to access World 1. You will have three options. The left is infantile mode, which gives you shortcuts and points in which direction to go. If you aren't using a guide, this can be very useful before going into normal mode, which does show you the route. Tribulation mode, which is the option on the right, was made by a psychopath and most of the blades of grass will kill you instantly. The center option is normal mode, which is not insane but does not hold your hand either. Once inside, you have a limited number of hearts, similar to any old retro game, and a stick for a weapon. I personally like to control right click the one key so it goes on auto cast. You may notice I have a bomb and some other items on my hotbar. That is because you keep items you unlock in the later levels of SAB from previous years. You won't start with that on your first playthrough. You can still use dodge roll, but your class doesn't matter here. Make your way through the levels, collect baubles, defeat the cage or boss at the end of each world to beat the level. There are some secret areas in each world, such as the glitches, which, if you can reach them, add more loot to the final chest and a chance of getting glitched weaponry, which you can keep or sell on the trading post. There is also the oozes. Each zone has oozes buried somewhere. You can dig them up with the shovel, defeat them, and carry them. While carrying them, you will lose health over time. You want to deliver them to this fella here as fast as possible for a reward. If you enjoy ooze herding or want to do the achievement, Guild Gen already has a wonderful guide up on all their locations. I'll link that in the description. You will sometimes find shops in your travels where you can heal or get other useful items. A small tip here, don't turn every last bobble you get into a bobble bubble. You sometimes need bobbles to use as ammunition for various weapons, such as the bomb. If you defeat all of World 1, you can access World 2 through the green roofed house in the main plaza for more content. Let's briefly talk about taco. No, not that kind of taco. If you have the conscience and morality of the standard tea drinking mesmer player, you may be interested in taco, aka tactical overlay. This basically shows you exactly where to go, making it so that any player can get through even tribulation mode, the highest, most insane difficulty where every leaf wants you dead. If you wish to use this, Yes, it is allowed. I recommend Tekkit's YouTube channel. He is another GW2 content creator that focuses primarily on taco guides and has a section for the Super Adventure box. Link will be down below. If you would like guides, walkthroughs, want locations of glitches in every world, or anything of that nature, I myself have used Iron Maiden's guides, who have all of those mapped out from previous years. Once again, that link will be down below in the description. And that should cover all the basics. I hope this guide helps point you in the right direction for anything you want from SAB, be it just trying it out for the first time, farming, or finding specific things just to get those achievements. If you liked this video, please consider hitting the like button to help us out with the Algorithm Overlord. If you have any tips or tricks related to SAB to share with the community, please drop them in the comments down below, and subscribe for more similar content. Enjoy the Adventure Box, and until next time!